In this video, we're going to learn all about diodes and their applications and how to troubleshoot them. So first, what is a diode? Diode is a two-terminal electric component that conducts current primarily in only one direction. It has low resistance in one direction and high resistance on the other. And this is the schematic, what it looks like. It looks like a triangle with a little cross on it. The little bar there is the negative and the other side is the positive and current goes from the positive to the negative. The way I like to think about diodes is it's like a one-way street on a road where cars can only go one way but they should not go the other way. There are many different types of diodes. LEDs are a very common type of diode. There's photodiodes, Schottky diodes, and Zener diodes and they all have the same property where they have a certain direction that the current will flow but they have different functions that they perform. The first one is LEDs. Uh, LEDs are l known as light emitting diodes, LED, and their function is basically to make light. You can have different types. Uh, one type is just the um, through hole type, and you can uh, determine the negative side because there's a little flat part on the outside of that LED. And uh, you have different uh, shapes and sizes of LEDs. Photodiodes are a type of diode that are like a semiconductor and they convert light into electrical current. So the more light they are, there is, there is going to have different flow of electricity can flow through this component. Through that you can determine how much light there is. And on your phone you'll have a, a little photodiode that detects how much light there is to change the brightness of your screen automatically. A shot key diode is like a power diode and it has low forward voltage drops and they're usually used for make converting AC into DC voltage and they use that through a rectifier um, diodes. What a rectifier diode is, it's four diodes that are connected like in a triangle shape and diodes only allow current to go one direction so AC has both positive and negative well we can remove the negative components using diodes and so these four points, one, two, three, four, this triangle will be the same as this rectifier chip right here. Sometimes they have the chip that just has three, that's just two, the half of a rectifier, and it will have three pins. The middle one will be the common not to negative. Xenodiodes are a special type of diode that are designed to reliably allow current to flow backwards, and they're used for... Uh, you can use them for a voltage drop because they'll have a constant voltage for the vol um, as the current goes through this. So you can have, this is an application of a voltage regulator using a diode that you'll have a constant Zener current through there and therefore you're going to have a constant voltage output depending on the voltage, the reverse voltage of this Zener diode. The, the best way to test a diode is by putting the, your multimeter into diode mode and putting the negative to the black strip of the diode and then the positive to the positive side and double checking that electricity is flowing through that. If you're measuring the voltage, you can get like half a volt. You can also have very low voltages like 0 0.18 volts. That's a shot key diode. And if you reverse the polarity, it should be an open circuit. Here's another application. You can also have a step up uh, doubler, okay? By using capacitors and di diodes here, this will only allow the uh, charging to increase the charging and this will also increase your voltage. So this is a doubler circuit. Diodes are also used for on loads too because if you have a battery and if you connect the battery um, in backwards it could just damage your components so if you put a blocking diode then this can save your your uh, electronics because if you change the polarity the current's not going to flow through here and it'll save your load other type is sometimes you have some inductance and um, motors and they'll put a reverse protection diode there because when things start up like a motor you're going to have some reverse current 
and that current can flow through this diode and so therefore this can protect your circuit. One application I had with this reverse diode was this quadcopter that I designed and I had a motor and I had to put a reverse diode here because when the motor started it would destroy my MOSFET and so I had to add this reverse diode across parallel with the motor and that fixed it. Another application is uh, I had some solar panels and you can measure the different voltage on each uh, section of your circuit by uh, isolating each circuit with diodes. There's probably a thousand different applications for diodes, um, but that's all we have for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe.